Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this uh, UCD and IBM colloquium on digital surgery and innovation in Ireland. I'm Niall Hardy. I'm a surgical trainee currently undertaking a PhD in the area of artificial intelligence, computer vision and cancer diagnosis. So as a trainee surgeon, this is a topic that I have a lot of interest in. As you'll see, we have a lot of excellent speakers from different areas of healthcare, academia and industry, all here today with the goal of furthering discussion, innovation and action in digital surgery in Ireland. I'd like to point out early on that we want the session to be as interactive as possible, so please feel free to use the Q&A function on your screens and we'll try and get to as many questions as we can. To begin with, we have some short messages from Dr. Leo Varadkar, TD, Taunishta and Minister for Trade, Enterprise and Employment, Professor Orla Feely, Vice President for Research in UCD, and Dr. Roy Zhu, Director of IBM Research in Ireland. Hello everyone. It's a pleasure to open this colloquium on advancing the national digital surgery ecosystem in Ireland. And I'd like to thank the organisers at IBM Research Ireland and the UCD research teams for the invitation to be here. Speaking as a doctor and also as Minister for Enterprise Trade and Employment, I'm excited to learn more about the emerging research, clinical and commercialisation opportunities that lie ahead. As you know, IBM and UCD are part of a consortium on the future of colorectal cancer diagnosis and treatment, which is a collaboration with the Royal College of Surgeons, Matter Hospital and Desifex. In 2018, with my colleague Heather Humphreys, I announced six million in funding for the project under the DTIF or Disruptive Technologies Innovation Fund. That day we all met in person in the RCSI in York Street. It feels like so long ago now, and I wish we could meet again in person today, but that's not possible yet. Nonetheless, since then, despite the impact of COVID-19, the consortium has achieved much, and I know it wants to develop a leadership role for Ireland in the area of digital surgery and build coalitions among industry, hospitals, clinicians and academia. It's really rewarding to see how the project has developed and to see how the collaboration has inspired further collaborations as well. The purpose of the DTIF is to drive collaboration between Ireland's world-class research base and industry and to facilitate enterprises to compete directly for funding for the development of disruptive and innovative technologies on a commercial basis. These technologies should alter markets, alter the way business operates, involve new products or the emergence of new business models. As you know, the medtech sector has been a major beneficiary of the DTIF. Of the 72 projects funded under the three calls to date, 40 have a health dimension and these have been awarded over 155 million euros in total. The total level of funding, 235 million over the three calls, is an indication of the government's commitment to fund high quality projects that will deliver truly disruptive innovations in Ireland. Eight of the 40 projects have a strong digital component. They address diverse aspects like using artificial intelligence to identify early, early stage breast cancer, prostate cancer, and utilizing biophotonics and advanced algorithms to enable clinicians to diagnose fetal hypoxemia. I believe this level of success reflects the strength of the medtech and life sciences sectors in Ireland. We have an impressive mix of indigenous and multinational companies that are leaders in their field. And when combined with our world-class research base, they continually push the boundaries of what is possible. The government's economic recovery plan launched earlier this month seeks to nurture the kind of collaboration that we see here today. We recognize that Ireland must adapt to the future of greater digitalization and automation. Many of today's school children will be employed in jobs and industries that don't exist yet, and technology will eliminate or transform many existing occupations. COVID-19 has accelerated the move to a digital future. We've seen how quickly individuals and companies can adapt to change when we have to. The pandemic has brought much suffering, but it also presents opportunities, and we should seize them now. The Economic Recovery Plan sets out a new phase of investment and policies for industry. Under the plan, six projects worth 295 million will help accelerate and expand digital reforms and transformation. 
One of these projects will be led by my own department, an 85 million euro programme to drive the digital transformation of businesses and the establishment of European digital innovation hubs here in Ireland. The government will also support AI adoption across our enterprise base as part of the long-awaited National Artificial Intelligence Strategy. AI has huge potential in the area of healthcare, from improving patient experiences to providing more accurate interventions for patients. Governments around the world are making use of AI in the development of vaccines and outbreak prediction and modelling, automated contact tracing, intelligent supply chains and space mapping for social distancing. And that's just for starters. The Economic Recovery Plan also makes commitments and investments to prepare for the future economy. To make education, research and innovation central to our future investment decisions. To ensure that our higher education system provides a pipeline of highly skilled graduates and to recommit to the vision of Ireland being a global innovation leader. Our approach is centred on adopting a more sustainable path to economic growth and recognises that enterprises are more likely to progress and succeed if they're part of a supportive ecosystem. SMEs especially have a crucial role in such systems. They've shown an ability to embrace disruptive innovation through collaboration on industrial research. This is a central tenant of the DTIF and demonstrates the partnership approach essential for a thriving digital surgery ecosystem. The audience today is a cross-section of SMEs and multinationals, academics and medical professionals, a perfect mix for exploring issues and generating ideas. I'll finish by extending my appreciation to everyone at UCD Research and IBM Ireland Research for organising today's events. The range of speakers and panellists will certainly provide you with a lot of food for thought. But as attendees, you've an even more important role to play. So please share your knowledge and your ideas about how we can make an Irish digital surgery ecosystem a reality. This is an opportunity for you to shape the future direction of this field and assist in making Ireland a leader in such technologies. So I wish you all a really successful event and I look forward to seeing you in person next time. Thank you very much. Hello, it's a great pleasure to welcome you to today's event on behalf of UCD. As ever, it's a shame that we can't be meeting on our lovely campus, but we hope that the day that we, when we can do that again is now not too far away. So in UCD, we seek to deliver excellent research and innovation, drawing on all our expertise across disciplines, working with partners to make a real difference to the world. And the area of digital surgery is a great example of where this can work to dramatic effect. Uh, we see that we can pull together the expertise in universities in the area of digital technologies, artificial intelligence, working with our wonderful hospital colleagues with industry partners from SMEs to large multinationals, supported by government with these very agile funding instruments such as the DTIF and with the broader support of government and its agencies. So all that group of people coming together and informed of course as ever by international best practice, we think that we can make a real difference to the world. So I hope that today's event advances this conversation and points us a way forward to really igniting the Irish ecosystem in digital surgery. Um, I want to thank a number of people in particular for bringing us to this point and who, whose leadership will be vital in taking us forward. First of all, Professor Ronan Cahill, whose lab I had the pleasure to visit late, late last year. And when you see in the lab just what can now be delivered by bringing the best of digital technologies, machine learning, artificial intelligence to bear on the problems experienced by surgeons, it's extraordinary. And I think that the opportunity here is vast and is on our doorstep for us to realise. So very, very happy to be supporting Ronan and to continue to see his success. Another UCD academic who's been instrumental in leading this area for us is Professor Patricia McGuire, who leads our Institute for Discovery with a particular interest in AI for healthcare. And I know you'll be hearing later about many of the really, really exciting developments in this space across UCD. And finally, as ever, I want to thank our wonderful partners in IBM, with whom we are once again organizing today's event. It is great to work with partners who understand and share your mission and your ambitions 
where we have complementary skills and expertise that together we can bring to bear on one of the, one of the most interesting problems uh, that now uh, confronts us. So thank you all for being here today. I wish you every success and I hope that the day leads us to a new point in our national journey in relation to digital surgery and comes up with a way forward that will allow Ireland, allow UCD, allow all those involved today to really take an international lead in a space of enormous and transform transformative potential. Thank you. Goodbye. Hi, everyone. This is Roy Izzo. I'm the director of IBM Research Ireland. I'm delighted to welcome you to UCD and IBM Research Annual Colloquium. This joint effort started back in 2016. Over the last five years, we not only deepened, but also broadened our partnership in exciting and new emerging research areas that ranging from cognitive IoT to deep learning and quantum computing. So what you're about to see today is another emerging and exciting new area, digital surgery, which is truly multidisciplinary and also disruptive. We hope that today's colloquium will ignite a national digital surgery ecosystem in Ireland. So now enjoy and have fun. So I think those introductions serve to highlight the shared goal of establishing Ireland as a global leader in digital innovation and leads on nicely to the first of the day's keynote speakers, Professor Silvana Peretta, a surgeon from IRCAD in Strasbourg, um, and she's going to give us her thoughts on the world of digital surgery.